pal. What's where you going? Uh, hey, Dad. Take, take my bicycle out of here. It's still really bad in there. You just don't want to go in there. Calm down. Now, just calm down and tell me what's the matter. Right. Okay. It all started about two days ago. Yeah, the wife's got a job in Bromley. It was me and the lads. We were having a cup of tea. The next thing we know, Chaz is gone. I can't come find him. I was thought, ah, oh, maybe he's just gone off, you know, like, do a bit of shopping or something. He never came back. Basil was next. He was just walking along, minding his own business. So I stood down and said, hey, Basil, how you doing there, hey, mate? And he waved over. And that was it. This thing came out of the shite. And I thought to myself, oh no, I'm getting out of here. So I had to hide first. And when I came out, I thought it was all clear. The lads are gone. The bastards have nailed me in. I'm out of here. You can do what you like. There's some money up there if you can be asked to get it. See us. Sleek on. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Bring me some sweet corn. Who's that? Can't see anyone. Hmm. Okay. That's what he wants. Um. Great mighty poo, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. A huge supply of tish comes from my chocolate starfish. How about some scat, you little twat? <laughs> Oh, <sighs> 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 
really think you'll survive in here? You don't seem to know which creek you're in. Sweet corn is the only thing that makes it through my rear. How do you think I keep this lovely grin? Have some more caviar. <laughs> Like a niggly, tickly, shitty little tag nut. When I've knocked you out with all my bab, I'm going to take your head and ram it off my butt. Your butt. My butt. Your butt. That's right, my butt. Ugh. My butt. Ugh. My butt.